Okay, we're looking at the uh, scapula. So to look at the scapula, you need to come laterally to the point of the shoulder. The point of the shoulder is the last bony, the last bony prominence on the top of the shoulder, the superior aspect of the shoulder. So once we get to that point, in this case uh, here, then that's the, um, the chromium process of the scapula. So we'll mark that on. We know that's quite flat. And the chromium process, actually, um, as it moves posteriorly and as it moves medially, it becomes the spine of the scapula. So we can follow that um, posteriorly until we can draw that on a little bit. And what we do is we walk along there with our fingers. We walk along the spine of the scapula. And so we're just feeling above and below. And so we're actually getting to the spine of scapula root. So we draw that line on, and gradually it becomes um, flattened out because it joins the actual medial border of the scapula in a flattened root. And that's at the level of T3, so that would be at the level of the thoracic vertebra 3, the root of the scapula. Now, trying to feel the actual medial border, we can draw that in. And if we move inferiorly, we get down to the inferior angle. So the inferior angle can be drawn in just like so. So we're starting to get a shape of a scapula under the surface here. The root of the, the inferior angle of the scapula is said to be at um, thoracic vertebra 7. Now, it's difficult to feel the actual lateral border of the scapula, but um, we know that it's in a triangular form, and it comes up to the um, glenoid at this point here. But we can't, we've no bony clues really. To that, so we just have to imagine that on our subject. Of course, this is with the paint with the subject in the anatomical position. If we actually get the subject to put their arm over their head, then things change quite dramatically. They can actually feel the inferior um, angle of the scapula is now actually in this position, and the medial border is now at an angle like so. So what we've had there is a rotation, a rotation. What we can also see is a translation of the scapula. So if we bring the subject into the anatomical position again, so the inferior angle is now back at this position. If we ask the subject to put their hands on their hips and actually protract their shoulders, so they're now protracting their shoulder forward, what we find is that the inferior angle of the scapula is now at this position, but the medial border, instead of rotating, is actually still in a, a relatively straight line. So now we've had a translation of the whole scapula away from the midline. And this is the position we use for a chest x-ray, to move the scapula out of the way.